years ago, we now have forests that are unnaturally dense. They have what are called ladder fuels that go into the upper parts of the forest, causes crown fires, very, very intense fires that didn't happen normally. Over historically, forests burn fairly regularly and less intensely. Now we're having incredibly intense uh, fires, and uh, you know we're having, and we also have drought, you know, climate change, and, and that. So, uh, you know, one way to deal with it is try and get ahead of it and do forest fuel reduction and go out and do thinning and forest health and forest restoration issues. And the Forest Service and the BLM have a budget to do that. Not very big, not big enough in my opinion, but they do have a budget. But the problem is every year the fires are so big uh, that they end up spending all that money on fighting this year's fires. In fact, I've been notified that Sometime this week, probably, the, since I'm on the uh, Committee of Jurisdiction, the Forest Service will notify us that they've run out of money to fight fires. Mm. And that means they're going to start robbing all their other accounts. Uh, there is the rarest of rare things in Washington, a bill that uh, the President supports, that Republicans and Democrats in the House and Republicans and Democrats in the Senate support. Uh, you know, uh, a bill to say, let's put more money into fuel reduction, prevention, uh, early attack, uh, let's limit the liability of the Forest Service and BLM and say they will they will pay out of their budget for 99% of the fires. Uh, but that happens to be only 70% of the cost. 1% of the fires cost 30% of the budget. Last year, one one large fire, I think it was the, the one around uh, Yosemite, uh, cost uh, well over $300 million. Uh, so that...